Hello, I am Tulika and today's topic is Thermodynamics of Chemical Process. Thermodynamics of Chemical Process. and 
under the study of thermodynamics. So the remaining part of the universe which is not under the study of thermodynamics that is called surroundings. So system without surroundings is the universe. So the part of the universe which is under the study of thermodynamics that is called system. The remaining part of the universe other than system is called surroundings. So the boundary between system and surrounding is called system wall. This is system wall or boundary between system and surrounding that is called system wall. So this is the definition. The part of the universe which is selected for thermodynamic study is termed as system. The remaining part of the universe around the system which is not under the study is called surroundings. The boundary between system and its surrounding is called system wall. So now we have to discuss another thing. The different types of system. What are the different types of systems? There are three types of system. Isolated open system and closed system. There are three types of system. Isolated system in thermodynamical point of view. There are three types of system in thermodynamical point of view. They, they are that, they are that types are isolated system, closed system and open system. Universe is the 
Isolated system can't exchange matter 
like volume in number of mass so what are the examples of extensive property mass volume enthalpy entropy gives free energy these are the examples of extensive properties extensive properties of a single substance depend upon the number of moles present so it is it depends upon the number of moles present extensive properties depend upon the amount of the substance present the examples are mass volume enthalpy entropy gives free energy now next is intensive property so this is the extensive property in this picture you can find that this is the total volume but here the volume is placed in is placed in three different beakers so here volume is less here more much and here more so by adding up we can get the total volume so for so for determining volume we have to determine the amount so it depends upon the amount of the substance present next is intensive property so the property which doesn't depend upon the amount of substance present that is called intensive property so intensive property which doesn't doesn't depend more depend upon the amount of of substance present doesn't depend upon the amount of substance present so the property which depends only on the nature of the substance are independent of the amount of substance present that is called intensive property let us see these beaker these two beaker the copper sulfate is present the color of copper sulfate is blue and the density although the volume is different but the density of the solution is same and the color is same for these two beaker so pressure temperature density larger boiling point melting point viscosity surface tension refractive index specific gravity specific heat these are the examples of a intensive property and intensive property is the characteristics of the substance present so they are frequently used to identify the substance because they remain constant okay although their amount is less or high but their the property is same or together so intensive property is the characteristic property of the substance so these are two thermodynamic called down that is extensive property and intensive property extensive property depends upon the amount intensive property independent of the amount
the system is usually kept in contact with a thermostat or constant temperature water bath. So system is attached with a constant temperature water bath. So when temperature with, <coughs> reduces, it can gain temperature heat from the water bath or constant temperature bath and if temperature is high, it can release the heat to the constant temperature bath. So in this case, actually, in this case, actually, the system is attached with a constant temperature bath. It can give or take heat to the constant temperature bath for maintaining the T constant, temperature constant, temperature constant. So it is isothermal process is one in which the temperature is constant throughout the process. When system undergoes an isothermal process, the system is usually kept in contact with the constant temperature bath or thermostat and the system maintains its temperature constant by exchange of heat to the, on the constant temperature bath. Next is adiabatic process. Adiabatic process. Here H constant means no heat exchange is possible. Temperature of the system may reduce or gain. Temperature may increase or decrease but heat change is impossible for this system, this process. So in case of adiabatic process is what? No heat enters or leaves the system. It is Q, small Q is equal to zero. The system is called thermally insulated system. The example is thermoflask. This is the example of no heat enters or leaves the system. But gradually the temperature decreases. It is the example of ideal example of adiabatic process. Adiabatic process. Heat change is impossible here. Temperature may increase or decrease. So it may be pointed out that the adiabatic process temperature of the system may increase or decrease. Next is isobaric process. Here actually pressure is constant. Pressure constant. Isochronic process where the process is going on 
the volume is constant throughout the process. For that reason, we have to make pressure change. But it is not very much feasible. Reversibility to import requirements are number one, a change must 
I so 
isochronic. After that, we have discussed reversible process. Reversible process. We have discussed what is called state of the system in thermodynamical view. What are the independent variables? What are the dependent variables? Now we will discuss internal energy. And we have discussed the state function and power function also. Now we will discuss internal energy. So every chemical system has some internal energy E, which is the function of temperature. E is a function of temperature. And the chemical nature of the substance and the types of pressure volume of the system. So what is the definition of internal energy? Some total of different forms of energies like kinetic energy, potential energy, chemical energy, etc. associated with the molecule is called internal energy. Okay. 